Greetings one and all. Welcome back to my kitchen here today where we are going to be making a nice um, steak dish and this is called carne asada. It's from um, South America and yeah um, really really looking forward to it. Now I'm going to be using a nice bit of rump steak here. This is a big piece that's about 700 grams and a nice big thick piece it is as well and usually I'm not a big fan of rump steak it's a um, I'm a bit out of out of step with the rest of my Aussies it's a bit of a favorite here in Aussies in Aussie land Australia we um, like our pub lunches like going to the pub for lunch and often you'll find the rump steak <coughs> is on offer and in the pubs like Steak's quite expensive, but you can get a really big rump steak sort of a bit cheaper than um, some of the other like fillets and things like that. Um, yeah, I tend to go for the fillets and that. Um, but I still like rump if there's no other option. If it's if the option is rump or no steak, I'll still go for the rump. But um, yeah, but because we're going to be marinating this rump, this is like actually the perfect cut of meat for this especially the thicker one like i was just saying because we're going to be marinating it for quite a while and it's robust enough to stand up to a long marinade let's make the marinade Alrighty, i'm going to get on with making my um marinade i'm just going to mix it in a bowl here first i've got the juice of three limes i've got the juice of half an orange Got a good handful of coriander leaves and stalks, like a good bunch that I've just roughly chopped up. I've got one large cayenne green chili that I've just chopped up. I've done seeds and all. Maybe if you don't want it too spicy, leave the seeds out. I've got four cloves of garlic. I'm going to put in a tablespoon of soy sauce. I'm going to put in a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. I'm going to put in a teaspoon of ground cumin seeds. And about half a teaspoon of ground black pepper. And we'll just mix that all up. Alrighty, so I've got my uh, big bit of rump steak here and I've got a uh, bag and I'm going to get that, try not to drip the juices everywhere into that bag. I'm going to get my marinade in there as well. I'm going to scrape it all in there, make sure you get all that coriander or cilantro, as my American friends call it. It's a garlic chili, everything in there. And we'll just squish that around a bit. Yeah, just get a get the steak a little bit flat and um, just rub it around a bit, squish it around it around um, yeah and what I'll do is I'll seal that up I'll get it in the fridge and um, we're gonna leave that till tomorrow and a few times tonight I'll get it out and give it another squeeze around make sure all those lovely bits of meat get some of that marinade on it oh and I nearly forgot, um, get a bit of olive oil in there as well into your marinade. Just a good slug. I don't know what that is, maybe a quarter of a cup. Alright, I'll squish that up into the fridge. I'll see you tomorrow. Alrighty guys, so here we are the next day. 
Um, now what I did is I pulled that steak still in its bag out of the fridge a couple of hours ago. I've just taken the bag now, right now, out of that marinade, shaken off the excess marinade, and what I've done is just seasoned both sides of the steak just with some salt, and I'm about to get it on the uh, charcoal now that it's at room temperature. Alrighty guys, now as you saw I took that um, steak, that rump steak there off the um, charcoal, put it on a plate. Now all I've been doing it now is I've just let it sit there and rest for about 15 minutes. I've now got it on my chopping board and how they typically serve this is we'll just cut it into slices and we'll sort of cut at a bit of an angle against the grain a bit but you know don't be too pedantic about it in fact I'm not going to be because trying to work with this camera this angle it's not as easy as it looks alrighty guys um, like, I, like I say Time to give it a try. I'll, um, you can serve this however you like. Um, in actual fact, a traditional way of serving it would be to make some tortillas and have it on bread. Or, um, but yeah, just enjoy it as it is. That's what I'm going to do. Actually, I'm going to have it with some beers in a minute. Watch my football team play. Let's have a look. So I cooked it, that was a big thick piece of steak. And I cooked it about six minutes each side. And um, it's a little bit rare, but not super rare like I might have a fillet steak. You can just see that little bit of rareness in the middle there. Man, it looks good. Let's try it. Oh man. <laughs> Alright. I'm going to call it. That is the nicest piece of rump steak I've tasted in a long, 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 long time. In fact, I think ever. It is absolutely delicious. It's tender as anything. It's melting in my mouth. I've got all these, um, I've got the beautiful steak flavour, but there's these other flavours as well on my tongue. Citrus, predominantly. Um, a bit of pepper, a bit of chilli, but not spicy or anything like that. It's just yum. <laughs> Alright, like I say, I'm going to sit down and um, I probably won't eat this whole piece of steak. Like I said, it was a 700 gram piece. I think I'll easily get two meals out of that. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Thanks to everyone who has subscribed to the channel. Really, really appreciate it. Um, if you're not a subscriber yet, can I ask you to subscribe to my channel? It's a small channel. Every subscription helps. It really does. And, um, yeah, there's no obligation on your part if you subscribe. It just does help me out. Alright, guys, I will 
see you all next time